Hello students. Why do we all prefer drinking purified water? The reason is that water purified by different methods is safe for drinking as drinking water should be free from germs or microorganisms. What are these microorganisms? Let us know about microorganisms under different headers like definition, scientists, size, device, habitat, classification and characteristics. To define, microorganisms are the tiniest organisms that cannot be seen with the naked eye but can only be seen through a microscope. These are also called microbes or germs. Microorganisms are the oldest forms of life that have been on Earth for 3.5 billion years. The study of microorganisms is called microbiology. The scientists involved in these studies are called microbiologists. Talking about the scientists related to microorganisms, we have Anton van Leeuwenhoek is considered the father of microbiology as he was the first person to observe microorganisms using his single lens microscope. Robert Hooke also used microscopy to observe microorganisms. Louis Pasteur observed the presence of microorganisms in the broth. This paved the way for the development of pasteurization in the year 1864. Pasteurization is the process that involves the treatment of certain foods at high and low temperatures to destroy pathogens and increase their shelf life. During this process, milk is heated at about 70 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. It is suddenly chilled and stored in packets. This pasteurized milk can be consumed without boiling as it is free from pathogens. Moreover, Robert Koch was the first person to say that some microorganisms can cause diseases and are termed to be pathogens. To discuss the size, microorganisms are diverse and include almost all the unicellular organisms and some multicellular organisms. The size of the microorganisms varies from that of viruses that are measured in nanometers to bacteria measured in micrometers. The stage micrometer is a special glass slide that is used to measure the size of the microorganisms. The device that makes the microorganisms visible is the microscope. A microscope magnifies the original image of the tiniest particles to form an enlarged image. Microscopes can be of two types, simple microscope or compound microscope. One type of device which magnifies small organisms or objects is the hand lens. A compound microscope is made up of mechanical parts and optical parts. The mechanical parts include base, arm, stage, inclination joint, clips, nose piece, body tube, fine adjustment knob and coarse adjustment knob. The optical parts include eyepiece, condenser, objective lens, and mirror. Coming to the habitat, microorganisms are omnipresent, that is, they are found in water, air, soil, inside and outside of plants and animals. Microorganisms can withstand diverse habitats, from cold oceans to hot springs. For instance, Listeria is one of the most resistant bacteria that can survive freezing temperatures and can contaminate refrigerated food. Likewise, we have Thermus aquaticus, a bacteria, that lives in hot springs at high temperatures. To classify, microorganisms are diverse in nature and include algae, bacteria, fungi, and protozoa.
viruses are also a kind of microorganisms algae are tiny microscopic mostly single cell organisms that are photosynthetic in nature they are the organisms that pump most oxygen into the earth's atmosphere hence algae are life savers on the other hand some of the algae are harmful as they produce toxins and spoil our water resources bacteria now sometimes called eubacteria or true bacteria are the type of microorganisms that have extensive uses as well as can cause diseases food poisoning etc there are other microorganisms like archaebacteria which are found in the same places as bacteria fungi are mostly microscopic unicellular or multicellular organisms which include useful organisms such as yeast and mushrooms which are helpful in making edible products on the other hand fungi are known to cause many diseases especially skin diseases protozoa are a group of unicellular organisms that have proved to be dangerous in causing diseases in humans example malaria amoebic dysentery leishmaniasis viruses are also microscopic but are generally considered neither living nor non-living considering the characteristics of microorganisms microorganisms can be unicellular like amoeba or multicellular like spirogyra microorganisms can be solitary like algae or colonial like a bacterial colony microorganisms can be autotrophic organisms like cyanobacteria which are photosynthetic or heterotrophic which include saprotrophic parasitic and symbiotic organisms microorganisms can reproduce asexually by binary fission and budding or sexually through conjugation transduction transformation microorganisms can also be useful certain bacteria such as lactobacillus and fungi such as yeast are beneficial to humans microorganisms can be harmful like pathogens causing bacterial viral fungal and protozoan diseases thus we have learned about microorganisms let us summarize microorganisms cannot be seen by the naked eye and can be viewed under a microscope the study of microbes is called microbiology and the scientists involved are microbiologists the size of the microorganisms varies from that of nanometers to micrometers a compound microscope consists of mechanical parts and optical parts microorganisms are omnipresent microorganisms are classified into algae bacteria fungi protozoa and viruses microorganisms can be unicellular or multicellular solitary or colonial autotrophic or heterotrophic and useful or harmful